Hello and welcome back to another episode of Lamplighter's League. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on the hardest difficulty. It is time for week number 23 and unfortunately we can't just let Nicastro continue her reign of terror. Which brought me to the idea we need to do one of those towers. Uh, since Nicastro seems to control apparently the entirety of the world. Might as well take the mission. Oh no, no, this one here does not belong to Nicastro. That one is Strum. So Nicastro is either South America or India. And I think we're just going to take India. Spectral Shades. Major Presence. Don't really like them. Uh, ah, let's take this one here. Keys to the Tower. 5 out of 5 difficulty. And we got four people, cool. So, let's put Eddie in. And we're just going to do that combination between Eddie and uh, Purnima, our sniper. And let's see how that interaction works. Change equipment. Give her a little bit of that. And a little bit of this. And we're leaving one open just in case, so let's start the mission. Cool, we landed and we got a little bit of everything in this party. A souvenir. Picking up the usual item from the start. I like those jungle landscapes, they aren't bad. One moment. Hmm. What's this then? Can you even kill these guys? I think the answer is no. No, they are not killable. But what we could do is we could engage him or them alone. Don't wander. Right here in the middle. Yep, let's go. All right, Eddie moves up to the side. Double hit. Sets him up. The guy's marked. We're getting some extra AP. Single kills isn't a really a big problem. Because it won't cost us any um, out of combat actions, and as long as this guy doesn't alarm anyone, we're totally fine. I'm not here to play games. And that is that. Good. This Problem way. solved. Uh oh, this one looks a bit more terrifying. Good. Everybody hides here. Follow me. Lord Strum's most trusted agents. The Reavers are heartless, powerful, and only barely human. Any one of them would set the world ablaze to earn its master's approval. Interesting. What do we have here? All right, Purnima sneaks in. Nothing personal. This one. 
Nine now. Cheers. Two down. I don't think that they can be sucker punched. These guys, the deep spawn, certainly cannot. Yep, they are immune. Poor timing uh, for the game to freeze. General poor timing. Sometimes I get the feeling the game really is trying to rat me out. I'm not sure why it's always freezing up. Let me fix it. Like I mentioned, the garbage collection of this game does not seem to be very good. If you do have a good PC, and this game doesn't even allow you to play it without stuttering, then something is awkwardly wrong. I wanted to charge in and hit three, four, five of them. Unfortunate. Well, at least that would be a fantastic trick shot. <laughs> so much damage. All right, listen. So, you want to see what I can really do? Putting this up. Oh no. Oh, too bad. Well, this is a good, uh, good starting point, I suppose. Might as well. Time to light them up. Some of them dazed. Good. Yes, please, and keep on like this, and then no both of you get one AP. Okay, cool. So now we got light them up again. One, two, three. I'm mainly targeting those who are not yet dazed and that will flush everyone out plus everybody seems to be marked which is great Nice little kill. That increases stress levels. Are you stressed yet? Hmm? Uh, this could be an insta kill. At least I think so. Good, apparently you can't push them down still
Good, we got the option to kill shot, right? Right. Hmm. I was hoping we would get a bit more out of it. Now you know your place. Good. Moves to here. We're j going to kill these two guys. Yeah, our team is strong. That's a kill. Plus a knockdown. <laughs> Everybody's just knocked down. Hilarious. Good, he should be so low that the blade storm might just kill him. Eddie deals a lot of damage now. The kill just reset, light him up. We haven't taken a single point of damage so far. All we used was one ultimate from Eddie. Reload. One, two, three, four, five. Um, how about? Reducing cooldowns. Much pain. Very nice. But it's necessary. And we're giving you and Eddie AP. Moves over. Hmm. Okay, the lamp up there would be a great target. One. Didn't have to go this way. Cool. Light him up. Yet again, reset. Fantastic. Last job. One, two, that was close enough. Free kill, and I think. Respawn, right? Okay, we're even early for the respawn phase. <laughs> Eddie, my gunslinger.
Okay, Eddie moves up. And my problem with Prima is I don't know how to trigger that continuous reset chain. Maybe we're still missing a couple of her talents. Who knows? Oh, who invited you? Good one hit. Firing! Another hit. That's a kill. No. Nope. Apparently we can't knock them down. Good, moving out of cover. Now this is a firefight. Moving our cooldowns. And Ingrid cleans up, as about. always. Away. Another knockdown into 100% hit, but unfortunately low percent crit. But we're still shredding armor, so it's okay. Good, more AP to the front. Let me help. Everybody gets inspired. I like our Hit this guy. Now. We're soon going to kill him. Good, hit this guy. Eddie moves up. One, two. Wow, he hits for 50. That is great. That was your last chance. Well, finally, we have beaten him down. That's what you get. Good. This group is super strong. I mean, Wait for me. you only notice just how strong uh, people are once you play with uh, different agents, right? Another guard. I hold a keystone. Praise the mother. Hello. Whatever you. Serious creature. Uh, okay. Interesting. Well, listen. 
One, two, three, four. Wanna dance? All of them marked. What does the void do? Staying in the void, 3 speed, minus 30 crit chance. Interesting, okay. Even if it kills me. Especially if it kills me. Oh. Good. We got a little bit off AP back. And we're dealing some more damage. Okay, I don't even want to know what these guys can do once we unleash them. You know what to do? Then do it. We can make it out of this. I know we can. All right, Eddie. Bullseye. You're on my list now, partner. Unless he shredded the armor. And continues to go for him. Y'all see that? Another great shot. Look at you, Swatter. Good, one down. Isn't that a lovely okay, we can knock them down, so that then it is not a problem. Like I said, I don't even want to know what they are doing. You blinked. Shredding more armor. There's no reason to draw a fight out. End it quick as you can, however you can. Roll out. Well, that was interesting. Luckily, we have so much DPS, and I'm very happy uh, with Eddie's upgrades. He's a real force to be reckoned with now. Let me hold on to this. Nothing will stand in my way. Look at that. The game offers us a lot of resources. Ether, healing kit, more healing kit. Tell you what, we're taking a healing kit here. Ingrid might go for a frag grenade. Yeah, the healing kits we can use them once we're back in uh, in our hideout we can just save them there yeah anna sophie can use that second wind as and when needed got anything uh, stiffer in that little medical pouch have you whiskey does not cure anything i don't know why people think it does my sister and brother showed me how to do this
Whatever it takes. Easy as pie. Come on, go check it out. You know you wanna. All right, got most of the guys. Nap time. I think we could engage. Out of the way. Shall we? Good double hit. Well, single hit. Eddie lights him up. One, two, three, Get. four. Got a nice little dazing shot. Love it. Bloody perfect shot, wasn't it? These guys are difficult to take down. Don't wander. Stress remedy. We did that really well. They should be afraid of us. On our side. Good. Well, blind it. Uh, that will, however, trigger their stupid multiplication. There we go. One, two. Three, four, five. Run for the heels, boys! Easy when you know what you're doing. Great, On great hit. Wrist. sums it up good let's move problem solved we got stress remedy which I think we don't need if I compare this to the other group What's this then? it's unbelievable just how much more damage in straightforward killing this is So at the end of the day, it's a lot about. That's another job done. At this rate, we will be in the towers. Uh, soon just enough. the amount of damage that your weapons are doing. I can see the difference because if Eddie hits for uh, 59 with his crits, that's as much as uh, 
two and a half times what his shots were normally doing. I think he was hitting for 22 to 25. So naturally, enemy hit pools will be depleted faster. It's a bit sad because it really forces you to spend all your uh, points on a few agents. And I always thought Ingrid uh, would deal a lot of damage, but in reality Ingrid is just a cleanup crew. Um, Eddie definitely deals substantially more damage. And now that his ammo problem is more or less fixed, um, it's really a good character. We need the right cards to make the characters even better. His daze slash knockdown card, fantastic. He needs more on hit effects. Anna Sophie needs another group buff, something, uh, or uh, the whale debuff. What's so good about uh, the one group debuff, uh, group buff that she has is it cleanses. It costs nothing. It's just a free ability. Maybe the snake. That could be another option to just give her more um, AP. Although that wouldn't be bad on um, Eddie as well, because the whole trick with uh, the cooldown reduction um, from Bless, that really is a good combination. I can see that work well with a lot of other abilities. Good, here we go. 10 skill points gained. Three cards, Blacksmith, Fallen and Threshold. Blacksmith. Bar uh, target team uh, mates next uh, attack deals 60% more damage. That is not bad. The question is, is it better than the Piper? I think it is. Grenade. Did 20 damage in an area. One use permission. Essentially gives you one grenade so we're doing that it is no accident that we have met each other the fallen could give her a ranged ability the grenade hmm doesn't deal as much as a normal grenade One blow to the nose. That's all it should take. Good. Minus one threat, Fonny Castro. We've been waiting for a keystone. We're that much closer to the day my agent set foot in the tower. Worth the effort. Good. Good, we're doing additional missions here and there. That's good. Unfortunately, no King Ether or Ceramic Steel. Got something in my cargo. Very good. The world map. The Castro is still making progress. Not as much, though. We could take her down here or do another tower uh, well we need to do those towers anyways let me just double check something so if we're upgrading the bull it'll push the target back further which isn't bad uh, it's a decent upgrade can't upgrade that further at the moment. This here would give her more crit. It's not bad either. Can't upgrade that further. 
70% more damage. Well, that's good if you imagine this with light them up together. Uh, that's not bad at all. I don't like the Hermit and I don't like uh, that uh, uh, either. Giving him an AoE heal is okay. But it's only once per mission. While on avoid hazard, this agent deals 30% damage and gains 10% crit chance. It says it's a debuff ability. I assume it debuffs enemies. Upgrading this for a few points uh, for a little bit of ink might be worth it. Snake is really decent. Goes down to six, that's fine. More armor. I think the stress here, the tyrant, uh, that would be a good upgrade. Pretty sizable because all of a sudden we get more uh, stress, but we're not using her at the moment, so no point in doing uh, that. Instead, let's upgrade the bull. And we're good. Divine. Cool. Now, we got a couple of uh, skill points. And he gets fortune and therefore now has a just as full tree as Anna Sophie. I would love to upgrade his weapons, but looking at the world map, if we do that, Nicastro would already gain quite a bit. If we're doing the tower, Nicastro gains two, yeah, three. Uh, This would upgrade Eddie's weapons, so potentially I will do this, just bite the bullet now. Although Marteau, it would be more efficient when Marteau gets a bit more progress, right? Could do this mission and get Strum. Yeah, but the weapon upgrade is good. I like the idea. Just can't let Nicastro go all the way through it. Maybe we'll need to do this and just stall. On the other hand, it's just three this time. And Strum is getting, uh, making more progress, so potentially we're really just going there. Are you in need? So, allies can't upgrade anything. We have plenty of Looking ether. Good out there, champ. Okay. We got enough knockdown. Might as well leave the thunder grenade for someone else. Question is, what else do we want to give her? I think thunder grenade isn't too bad. Good, everybody gets a few items, just in case we're working with the agents at some point. Good, she's still going to chill for at least two more uh, weeks. 
And I think we're next time going to go for the ceramic steel. Right, that's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed uh, the episode, leave a comment and a like down below. And see you in the next episode of Lamplighter Sneak. Take care. Bye bye.